All right, I am live, I am live, I am live. Hey everybody, it's May and today I am going over kitchen equipment. All right, so let's get started. Let me give, give me one second. I need to grab something real quick. Okay, so today I'm going over kitchen equipment. So first and foremost, um, when you have a kitchen, you want everything to be, uh, what's the word, functional. Okay, so you're going to want a functional kitchen. And what does it mean to have a functional kitchen? That means that... Um, you have all the equipment, everything you need um, to make meals, to take care of all the variety of things that you're doing in the kitchen. So that's very, very important to have all your tools. All right. So I'm going to go over some of the basics um, and, and stuff like that. So I'm going to start out with the big equipment. Luna, uh-uh. Go back. Go back to the TV. I'm busy. I got 30 minutes. Go back. Go watch TV. Yeah, go back and watch TV. I'll come get you when I'm done. All right, so the first thing we have here, this is a food chopper, food processor, and it also operates as a blender. So if you were making something like dough, baked goods, and stuff like that, you can get it all done in here, okay? So this is a, a high-tech food processor. So that's one of the things that you would like to purchase. If it's, oh Lord, <laughs> I did. I grabbed it wrong. Let me put it back on. Oh, don't bust the plastic, Lord. Don't bust the plastic. Okay, so that's a food processor. That's one of the first things you'll need. Now you know that, of course, a functional kitchen. You need a dishwasher, a stove, a microwave. Um, refrigerator, that type of stuff. That's basic. We all know that. And those things make your life easy. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to uh, show you is a cheese grater. A cheese grater is definitely essential. You're making tacos, um, nachos, all kind of Italian food. You will need a cheese shredder. Okay. And it's got different um, things on there. This right here, wonderful thing, bacon, cookies, you need a rolling pin. Get you a good high quality rolling pin. I got this big heavy metal one. Some people like wood, I don't. I prefer this one. You gotta have good cooking pots. That's one thing you must have is high quality cooking pots. I'm not gonna bother showing y'all no coffee maker. I think that's pretty. That's pretty commonplace. But you want to have a pestle. This right here is good for mixing up your herbs, especially if you do teas. You want a pestle. Put that back. Try not to tear my kitchen up doing this video. Okay. Now, one of the other things that you might need for herbs, they have a coffee grinder, but this is good for herbs. If you want to chop peanuts, especially if you're doing like vegan stuff, you want to chop up uh, nuts and all kind of different things, okay? Um, herbs and nuts, that's good for that. All right, another piece of equipment that I absolutely rely on is the steamer. A steamer will save your life. A steamer is a very nice way to get uh, fresh vegetables steamed just right. You put them on 15 minutes, for broccoli, you can do 20 or 30 for carrots, and you can steam fresh vegetables really nice. You can put, um, you can even steam fish in here. Matter of fact, they have it. I have two of these, so you can stack it. You can cook the fish in one or the chicken. Well, not chicken, you know, with the chicken, but you can put fish in here and you can put the vegetables on top. Fill it with water and voila, magic. Okay, so a vegetable steamer is an essential tool for a kitchen. 
I have a dehydrator. I don't feel like bringing that out. It's got too many pieces. All right. Then you have your good old trusty fryer. That's a deep fryer. Deep fryers are great for doing stuff, small stuff like donuts. I don't use this for, um, I don't really use this for um, stuff that I can put in the air fryer, okay? Stuff that's easy to put in the air fryer, put it in the air fryer. But this is more like if you're doing like fresh fried fish, you know, something like that, you want to use this. If you're doing like something like maybe say donuts that you're making from scratch, you want to use this. I mostly use it for fresh fried fish or I can use it for egg rolls. Um, of course, it takes a lot of oil. So that's just something to consider. Wherever you can use the air fryer, use it. But having a deep fryer is a very good thing. It sits right on the countertop, and most of them are easy to clean. All right. So that's another piece of equipment for homemakers to make life easy. All right. Next piece of equipment. I use this every day. Let me go ahead and wipe it down. Wipe it down. Since I'm since I'm showcasing, this is my trusted toaster, baby. I use this mug a lot. So I'm just going to clean it on up a little bit. I got me some soap and water here. I figured I'd go ahead and polish this mug since I'm on here. Since I got the time. Okay. So you have your trusted toaster. Everybody needs a toaster. Um, toaster is just good to have. I mean, you can. You know, grandmama used to put put the damn bread in the oven. Anybody got time for that? Get you a damn quality toaster and call it a day. All right, put the toaster up. I'm putting everything up as I go. Next thing, now if you a person who likes the Waffle House, I like the Waffle House. But guess what? You can make your own what? Waffles at home. Put your toppings and stuff like that in there. And you can make the best quality waffle for your family. Um, turn it over. You can make two waffles at a time. This is a really good instrument. I really, you know what? I think I'm going to make waffles tonight. I hadn't thought about it. Waffles put me to sleep. But I'm going to keep this out because I'm going to go ahead and make some waffles. For, and, 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 um, waffles. I have some pecan. I got some, Lord, I think I got some pecan. I love pecan waffles. So. You can uh, make you some waffles. This is really good, especially if you have company, people coming from out of town. They'll be impressed. Fresh waffles, nothing like it. Okay. Here is another piece of equipment. Now, you see Queen use this all the time. This right here is an amazing thing. You can put meat on top. You can do stir fry. You can do fried rice. You can do fajitas. You can do anything. This is a countertop griddle. And mine has this copper top. I don't, I don't know if that makes it special or what, but the copper top griddle, this mug is good. So if you don't want to like do all that stove stuff and everything, y'all see Queen all the time. She be frying it up, honey, frying it up. So this is a great thing to have in your equipment of the kitchen. Okay. Um, and it is important to just go ahead and invest in these things. I'm putting stuff up as I go. It's important to invest in your kitchen. <clears throat> you need to have good stuff like mixing bowls. I'm not bringing my crock pot out. I don't see the point. Y'all know what a crock pot looks like. Okay, so I went over the waffle. I'm going to leave the waffle maker out. Now, here, this bad boy right here, that's a pressure cooker. You want to get one of these. You want a pressure cooker. You want a pressure cooker. A pressure cooker makes life easy, just like a crock pot does. A, a pressure cooker. A good quality pressure cooker. Let me see what this This is fiberware. I don't know. It's kind of okay brand. But a good pressure cooker, you can put some solid meat in there, beef, turkey, whatever you want. And honey, when it get done, it'll fall off the bone. You can also use this to cook beans. You can use it to cook beans. Hello. Hey, Queen Sun Kiss. Good knives. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My pressure cooker is manual. What? I haven't seen a pressure cooker that's manual. Okay, so the pressure cooker, you can put beans and it cuts your time of cooking beans all the way down. Split peas and stuff. This thing right here, baby, it'll make your day. All right, so I've gone over a couple of things 
And y'all seen the mistress. Let me just turn it so y'all can see the mistress. She in the corner over there. That, let me see. There she go. Let me get my finger right. That right there, that's the uh, mistress. That's the air fryer, okay, in the corner. My husband decided he wanted to, to purchase that thing, and so he brought it on home. So, yeah, quality knives. I like Cuisinart knives, um, ceramic knives. You have to invest in good knives. So I'm not going to go over a whole bunch of different instruments, not too, too many. But here are some essentials. I already showed y'all a cheese grater. Then you got what you call a melon chopper, a bigger air fryer. Oh, you need a bigger one? Ooh, child. I pressure cook is manual and you got it. Okay. So this is good for cantaloupes. Okay. And I'm, I do a little bit of, um, you know, fruit art. So I have a lot of different little, little things. Let me see what the other ones are. Okay. And I'm just saying, this is just, these are some basic essentials. You need a chopping board. Let me go get my cutting board. I'm about to make some waffles. I hadn't th brought that thing out in so long. I'm about to get me a new cutting board, but you need a cutting board, and a cutting board is good to have next to your stove. Okay, you need a quality cutting board. That, that you can't, you know, this this plastic thing. This is just a cover here, right? It just covers. And this is my second one I use if I if I'm busy, but and I don't maybe I have meat or something like that. But I would cut the meats. I mean, last I cut the vegetables first. But this is my emergency one. This this yellow one. But the best thing to do is get you a real nice um, cutting board. It's essential to a, a quality kitchen, okay? And so this, we got the melon, okay? This is not for watermelon. This is for cantaloupe and honeydew melon. And then we have the apples. You can make your apples, um, pears, slice them, cut them real fast, got that. Okay, so these are gadgets. Also, here's another gadget, strawberry. You want your strawberry sliced up beautifully? There you go. Bam, bam. Okay. Then this thing right here, this is to catch your egg yolk. If you're a baker, it'll catch your egg yolk. Y'all seen a lot of this stuff. I'm just going over some stuff that, you know, is essential to a kitchen. What did I leave out? I had a mixer. I showed a mixer, a griddle. I showed a waffle maker, coffee maker, deep fryer, um, food processor slash blender. And... Oh, smoothie machine. You definitely want to get a smoothie machine. I call it's mine's called Nutribullet. I got two or three of them. But I had one at work. Okay, you want to get you a Nutribullet. You can chop onions and bell peppers and garlics and stuff like that. You put the little cup on top, turn it, and bam, there it go. We got air fryers. What else did I pull out? I pull out the griddle, the waffle maker. Yeah. So and the crock pot and the pressure cooker. So I pulled out quite a bit of stuff. Um, this is all worthy equipment. Invest in, please, quality pots and pans, quality bakeware. Let me see what the queen said. I got like 10 cutting boards. I know that's right, honey. You ain't playing with it. You got one of those fruit cutters. Uh-huh. I got some of the meat and some for veggies. Okay, yeah, there you go. Keep it separate. I don't have no egg separator. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people just go ahead and scoop that thing out, you know. Mixing, mixing and measuring cups. Now, I used to have glass because it looked good, but I kept dropping the shit. So I, I just said, you know what? I'm going to get me a plastic one so that mug bounce off the damn uh, ground. Luna, not right now. Not now. I'm busy. I told you that. Then you want to uh, invest in measuring cups. You want to get the measuring cups with the teaspoon and all that. This one is really interesting because it does a cup and a half, right? And it does two cups. So this one I like. This one's really good. But I keep my measuring cups next to the stove so that when I have to go back, go back, you go back. Don't tell me no, unless you want to get in trouble. Go back. I'm doing something. Go back. Don't wait till I get busy and then you start coming. Come on now. Give me, give me a second. All right. Then we got quality mixing bowls. You have to have quality mixing bowls. I have uh, mixing bowls of different sizes. I got them from Ikea. This one is really big. This one's smaller. And then they make smaller than that. And mixing bowls are really, really important. And I also showed y'all, let me just show it again. I showed y'all my rolling pin. Every time people see this, they think it's violent, but <laughs> it looks violent, don't it? But it's not. Real good quality uh, rolling pins for baking and stuff like that. You have to invest in good bakeware, baking sheets, glassware. Um, I'm not going to pull all that stuff out. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but these are essentials. 
Then you also, I'll let y'all see this real quick. You want to invest in storage stuff. Okay, stuff where you put your beans and your rices and stuff like that. And then, of course, spices, spice and spice racks. Now, one thing that I'm really big on is I have to have a good noodle drainer. I call it a noodle drainer, but it's just a strainer. Okay, you got to have good strainers. Get you a couple of them because you may have multiple meals that you need to cook something. All right. And lastly, I'm going to go over the meat cleaver. Meat cleaver. Very important. Colander. Oh, that, oh shoot. That's what it's called. Colander. Okay. I'm learning. <laughs> Colander. Um, meat cleaver. You can tenderize your meat. Okay. You can tenderize your meat. Mm -mm. You can tenderize your meat. For example, when you are making chicken parmesan, you beat the shit out of the, the chicken, right? You beat the damn hell out of it. And you get it flat and then you fry it. That's how you make chicken parmesan. But this is really good to tenderize your meat. And sometimes I use it like if I'm making a, a dish, not a dish, but a baking thing. And it says you have to have, you know, like cookie crumbles. I put them in a bag and tap, tap, tap. Right. Um, so it's good for a lot of that stuff. Invest in a whisk, a good quality whisk, multiple whisks. I have lots and lots and lots of spatulas. You got to have good spatulas to get all that stuff out. Get it out. Get it out. OK. And then I have brushes, culinary brushes. This is how I get sauces and stuff on. And you also have a juicer. This is good for lemons, limes, oranges. Get the juice out. Now, I thought, did I buy? I think I just bought an avocado peeler. I don't know where it's at, though. I just bought an avocado peeler. And it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Anyway, um, it says... I got like six whisks. I know you do, girl. You got to load the kitchen up with everything you need, different size spatulas. You got to have quality, um, what is it called? Quality, just, you know, stuff that's strange. Like we're talking about serving spoons and stuff like that. You got to have different sizes, different textures. You got to have some wood, some plastic, some metal, a little bit of everything. And I need a citrus juicer. You mean like this or you mean like a machine juicer? Which one do you mean? Which one do you mean? So these are just some of the things I pulled out. But um, when you are cooking, these things are going to be essential. They're easy shortcuts. Um, you said either. OK. And Queen Sunkiss, she has a very nice, high quality juicer. And so that's something I would love to add to, to my um, to my uh, kitchen equipment. But it's an investment um, having, you know. All the different essential tools to cooking it is a very big investment. And I think it's some of the most worthy things for a homemaker to really like be clear on what you need for storage, for baking, quality pots, all the different types of machinery. you got to have your arsenal of tools together to be an efficient cook and really to have things come out the way you want them. Um, and, you know serveware, glassware, all of that stuff. It's very, very important. You got to have glass, metal. You got to have storage um, stuff. Now, that's probably been my biggest challenge is plastic storage stuff. That's probably been my biggest challenge. Yes, it is. I got a, I got a job to get that. I got a job to get that juicer. Yeah, honey, that thing you got is expensive. I tried to buy a juicer one time and it was like, I don't know what that brand was. It was the cheap brand. And that mug didn't last two two juices. <laughs> that was trash. I throw that thing away. I used to have a popcorn maker. I, I've gotten rid of some equipment because I realized it was a little bit like redundant. I've gone back old school to just having like my popcorn. That's something I want to do too. Show y'all a recipe for um, spicy popcorn based out of Atlanta. Um, cooked with coconut oil and paprika. Man, that thing is so good. I'll do that one day. I'll do that in a short, probably. Show everybody how to make the spicy popcorn. That thing, good boy. So anyway, these are essential uh, kitchen elements. I may have left something out. If you guys have any suggestions, please do leave it in the comments. And that is all I have. Come to the kitchen ready to cook. Ashe, thank you. All right. Bye-bye.